round two. What we're going to do instead is the, I'm again taking my baseline BB. I have cut open a bottle over here, which I shall be using as a funnel. So I'm going to put the coffee into this makeshift crucible, which I need to clean afterwards because it's not mine, it's some others. And I'm going to inhale as many vapors as possible. Now the added benefit of this method is A, I'm going to condense all the vapors that were usually getting lost from this uh, into this funnel kind of thing. Huh, see, now <laughs> it's come down, so it's not really in. Oh well, damn it. So I guess objectivity is lost upon us, but nonetheless we should try. Now, the added benefit of this is that even though even over here, what you're essentially taking through your nose and your mouth is the product of combustion. That is, you will have some, uh, you know, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, uh, other uh, products that have been burnt off because you are A, directly burning the coffee and B, you're also burning the paper. So, any kind of products of combustion like that in your lungs is not a good idea and therefore do not try this at home. Over here, the difference being that the heat is going to be indirect. So what I'm hoping for, that even though yes, the coffee will burn, but I'm hoping for a slight increase in caramelization rather than burning. So let's just set our camera up. So what I'm going to do now is I have everything ready. Huh, let's do this. The key over here is going to be keep shaking the container because I don't want the heat to get concentrated on one part. So this is how it's gonna go. The crucible over here and my funnel over here. Let's try this. Let's show it to you. Oh, we have some papers. <coughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Already. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, I'm getting a hit. Ah, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh. It, it, it got fire. It got fire. Yes. Uh. <coughs> yeah, products are guns combustion. Caramelization definitely there, but the coffee is still boiling up. So, yeah. but I'm definitely getting a hit out of this. I can feel it. mess because we didn't really get combustion I think the inner layers are still coffee in that whereas there we decimated the coffee into almost charcoal uh, but let's see what this tells us oh wait oh. 
148, not bad, not bad. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lie down for a while and look at it again in 5 minutes. Uh, increase pulse rate, increase systolic. High systolic should now be recovered, but again, it can be the anxiety, it can be the activity of my dog. So, regarding this, if I see, this is burnt and caramelized, you can still see shum, 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 shum. caramelized coffee, which is the shiny one. And as over here, you still have coffee. Yep. This wasn't really a successful joint, so as to say. Again, I'm not really good at them, so I may be doing the wrong, but this is still fucking hot. Okay, next order of business is lying down, taking the BP after 5 more minutes. Let's do that. So, I've been lying down for about 2 minutes, 2 to 3 minutes. Let's see what the effect of that is. Now, um, again, regarding this experiment, not as successful as I would hope because obviously my methods were questionable but there is some basis to either it's just smoke or is there some coffee to it too. So the smoke can be a stimulant itself but I'm guessing that you can create vapors of caffeine uh, because that would be a potent enough uh, stimulant for benign situations like say before an exam or something like that now see uh, again this has come down slightly 133 uh, pulse is also better because now I'm resting let's do one thing I'll, I'll wait for another minute and I'll check again if it's like that then I would conclude by saying that enough caffeine and uh, smoke hasn't gone through into a system and even if it has it is not enough to cause a systemic effect that's either because a the quantity of burnt caffeine that i inhaled wasn't good enough or b uh, diffusion through my respiratory membrane of caffeine is not a viable option uh, either way it's much better to eat directly like empty a packet of caffeine in your mouth than to do all these shenanigans but hey this was still fun we learned an important thing let's let's just do this again over here so we learned an important thing a caffeine caramelizes m before it will actually burn therefore it won't be a suitable um, inhalant by combustion however is there something like caffeine vapors that can via your respiratory membranes cause a systemic effect that is something that we must investigate further but again even if there was it you're much better off eating the amount of caffeine you have than to smoke it to because of the, yep nothing uh, I'm coming down to baseline even if there was some effect, I'm guessing it was transient and not enough to cause uh, changes in my BP. Regarding subjective changes, I am not feeling any palpitations, any headaches. Uh, I am slightly aroused, more aroused, no, not sexually, slightly aroused uh, as compared to I was before. But then it can be the activity and my sympathetic system re uh, reacting to that. But all in all, not the result that I was hoping for, but still a successful experiment in terms of teaching us about combustive properties of caffeine and absorption via your respiratory system. Hmm, that was fun. Uh, let's try something else next time, shall we? Adios.